I'm in Granada right now. It's busy as tourists everywhere. The Way of St. James snack canapé in Seville is behind me. I treat myself to a café con leche with the mouse and then take the bus to Granada, where I will meet Carl and his friends from Wales. I met Carl at the beginning of the year on my first Camino de Santiago. He's been part of my Camino family ever since. So let's see if Kuhn Carl is already here. He's not there yet. He and Edward were on the Camino Mozarabe and are just before Granada. They'll be arriving soon. Carl already enjoys a certain reputation here at the hostel, but how can that be? Hmm, never mind. Their journey began a few days ago in Almeria. They lost Jack, their third fellow pilgrim, on the way. But don't worry, he turns up again unexpectedly in Malaga. Unfortunately, he misses this unspeakably beautiful hostel here. My first stop is the Alhambra, this imposing castle built by the Moors in the Middle Ages. I'll be there at 2.30 p.m. By the way, it's 20 degrees Celsius in the middle of December. Greetings to Germany. Rooftop bar without a bar. Just a terrace. There's the roof terrace, another little lounge here. There's the pool, another terrace a bit of a view, and there's Alhambra. There are showers here. And there's my bed. Tata ratata. Now I'm going to chill out. I have to queue for a while. By the way, there are several entrances. You can also buy tickets everywhere. I bet if you go to the mountains in the middle of the night and meet a funny dwarf who already has one or two in his tea, he'll sell you a ticket too. No, I'm just kidding. That confuses me a bit. But a local shopkeeper tells me that you can get a ticket for all the entrances at the largest complex. The largest complex is the one on the slope. Anyway, it all worked out. You manage somehow and you can book every ticket online. You have a great all-round view while you can feel the history here directly. After the Reconquista, there were a few Renaissance-style renovations. But the Nasrid palaces, the heart of the Alhambra, have not been touched. The entire complex is huge, winding, with a sophisticated military layout and rich in history. And it is no coincidence that it is one of the most visited buildings in Europe.
It's funny. My father was here once before, in the 70s. As you can see on the pictures, he sensed me. Since then, at most, the red cast has deepened. Apart from a few trees, the rest has remained the same, but the color fits. The name Alhambra is said to come from the red color of the outer facade. And there's even a huge hammam in the vaulted cellar. I feel right at home here, looking for the bathrobes and sniffing for refreshing scents, but nothing. It's all history, a long time ago. Today, we only see stones, but at least they're there. They can also tell a story.
Despite all the history, it's the view that fascinates me the most. The misty valley, the white houses and gypsy caves nestled against the mountain, the mountains towering in the distance. This place is very special. I would almost say that these landscapes here in southern Spain, the Sierra Nevada, have a connection to the otherworldly. At least that's how they appear, and that alone might be enough to make you want to pay them a visit. And then Carl and Edward send me a photo with greetings from their arrival at the entrance to the Alhambra. Just a few minutes later, I'm standing in exactly the same spot and say hello back. I know Carl from the Camino Frances at the beginning of the year. He and a few others formed a really close-knit group of pilgrims back then. And anyone who has been on the Camino knows that a Camino family lasts a lifetime, at least. Unfortunately, Carl was plagued by a few aches and pains along the way. He just hobbled around a bit. But everything is fine now. He's also been through a lot, as he tells me here. It's like a love letter from afar. Love you, Carl and Edward. When you get here, roses will fall from the sky. Uh, no, we're going to a pub, because it's time for Edward, Carl and I to toast with a pint of beer. So, a quick vlog, we just arrived at a place called La Peza. We've been walking up the mountain um, for all day, it's been uphill, but we've still done it in three and a half hours. Smashed it out, because it's such a long day yesterday, it's been short. So, we're now we're only four minutes walk from the public albergue, and we're just having a couple of beers. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, big love, everybody. See you soon, Sebastian. We are here now. Yes, where are we? Oh, we're in a bar. We've already had something. Uh, <laughs> and I'm not alone either. I've got people here with me. This is Edward and this is Carl. How are you? Wie geht's? Wie geht's? Ja, genau. Es geht gut. Das ist gut, ja. Auf Wiedersehen, Pat. So we are talking actually the whole time in English, which is totally difficult for me. Yeah. And those Good are the guys. Help. Yeah. My German friends. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, finally we met in Granada. Finally. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Let's let's skull. Let's skull. Auf Wiedersehen. Ciao. Pet. Ciao. What's ciao? And after giving ourselves a bit of a hard time, we really went up the hill a few hundred meters to enjoy the view opposite the Alhambra. And suddenly, a window opened behind us. You can see it here on the right. Oh, nice. And a friendly gentleman stuck his head out and asked, would you like a drink? It was such an absurd situation. It was only topped by the fact that the guy even accepted empty bottles. He was sitting on his couch, watching TV and serving people from his fridge. This place is great. We stay here for quite a while. Mm -hmm. I'd probably break my legs myself in there, wouldn't I? Yeah, you would break, break your legs. Where you taking it? Yeah. I've got a church behind. It's a video. Hello. 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 We made it up to the... Schnell, schnell. Ah, ah. That is good, yeah. Yeah. And we now see the Alhambra. From, from this place. Yeah. How many meters? It was uh, 750 meters away from the main road at the bottom. Oh, okay. So yeah. we managed to get up the hill, all the way up the hill. It was yeah. very difficult, but we have energy drinks. This is a Red Bull, actually. Mm. He's <coughs> lying. It's a Lumbra light beer. We are currently walking through Gypsy Town in Granada. These are very narrow alleyways on the hillside opposite the Alhambra, and some of the people here really do live in caves. That's really cool. The flamenco shows are too expensive, and somehow it's also low season. There are the guys, Edward and Carl. Cool Carl. No, no. The guy didn't just offer us gummy bears, so I don't think so. Maybe he wanted to sell us a huge W out of his trench coat. What, no, for, for we don't need... Nah, sorry, I don't smoke. Thank you. Yeah. I meet some German expats at one point and wander into an open apartment in the hope that there's beer there. 
but there's just a grey-haired gypsy sitting there playing his guitar. This is really fascinating here. I've never seen anything like it. The next bar wasn't far away and we treat ourselves. And then we simply dial a number on our smartphone and suddenly Mike is on the phone. Our family member from the Camino Frances, the way of St. James from France to Spain. He's in Florida at the moment and apparently he's so bored that he has a moment to talk to crazy people like us. We chat and Edward accompanies us quaffing in the background. I thought he was a non-smoker. Michael? <laughs> Michael? Michael, Michael. Michael? 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 Are you there, <laughs> Are you there Michael? He's there. It's a video call? He's no. there. No, 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 no he's no. there. He's there. Yeah, you're all... missing. You, you have to be here. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. take the next flight. Van Camino! We're just talking to Mike now on the phone. Here's Mike. <laughs> Hello, Michael. Hello, Michael. <laughs> <laughs> We're just doing a video and video. <laughs> yeah, it's enough. It's enough. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You're going to be on YouTube, brother. Yeah. Beware. No, Instagram. Oh. Yeah. Can you take a picture? Mike? Jake, take a picture. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> well, we have, a, we have a picture. Nice. <laughs> right, Mike, I'm no, getting off the phone. drinking off. Uh, on. Mwah. See you. But on we go to the next pub. Carl and I treat ourselves to a kebab and then we fall into bed. Tomorrow is another day. This is Carl in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of Granada, and we just ordered, ordered, uh, shawarma king, mm. uh, taj halal, mm. whatever this is, it's a kebab, salad, pita bread. Yeah. I have one now, and I have one for breakfast. Down there. Mm. Sebastian's just been flirting with dirty gypsies. Dirty gypsies, yeah, yeah. Naked gypsies, and we tried to get into a flamenco show. Yeah, it didn't yeah, work. Naked flamenco. Mm. Not sort of place that really. Mm. So, see you then. Now, we're in that. I'm lost. Where's that in? Well, who's here? Look how nice the hostel is. You can even look into other people's rooms. Hello, quick, quick, Hello. we have to move on. Schnell, schnell, wir müssen weiter. <laughs> so I've got another old smelly laundry bag here. Now I'm going to wash it. So many things. I've lost two t-shirts, I've now lost my sweatshirt. I've lost the battery. I've lost just everything. Yeah. I'm gonna look upstairs. It must be up there. You might don't need it. <laughs> Before Carl compares me to Farker, I'll steal his cap. As you can see, we have a lot of fun. But then it's on to Malaga, where we even meet Jack, who got lost on the Camino Mozzarabe. I say hello to my boys again. Hey, lovely's dad here. We were on a very dangerous path today, the Caminito del Rey, but all good. It was well secured, and Carl was with me. He would like to say hello to you now with his friends from the Land of Dragons. I wanted to send you something other than a voice message. I'll be back home tomorrow. Jack. Hey guys. Nice to see you. <laughs> Sorry your dad is a bit forgetful. We 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 got lost and we had no signal. This is Edward. This is gerade der Edward und das ist der Karl. Schnell, schnell. Ja. Tut mir leid, ich rufe euch den nicht wieder an und morgen bin ich auch wieder in Deutschland. Tschüss. Now off to the airport. I really have to get out of here. LOL. Hallo Jungs, hier ist euer Papa. Ich sitze am Hello kids. It's Daddy again. I'm sitting on the beach in Malaga. There are lots of palm trees and I'll show you the sea. There's a harbor over there. Let me zoom in a bit. Can you see it? I'll see you again soon. Seht ihr den? Stehen große Schiffe.
We can go to the library again or to the playground, if the weather is good, depending on what you feel like doing. By the way, I'll walk to the airport where my plane is waiting. The flight leaves this afternoon, so I've got plenty of time. I'll be back in Frankfurt in the evening. Apart from that, I'm not doing much today. I'll just sit around here a bit. Maybe I'll go to the sea again. Uh oh, oh, oh better get away quickly. Now I even have a little surprise for you. Look what I found. Two shells. I'll bring them back for you. Now, please take a closer look. That guy in front of me, that's Carl's brother from a parallel universe. That's exactly the same hat. I love my Camino family. I love every single member. And I can hardly wait to see any of you again. We're going to have a lot of fun. That much is clear. But now it's back home for me. There's the Sierra Nevada, and the other side of that is the Alpujarras. This is the Alhambra. It should looks amazing, doesn't it? This has been amazing. It's fantastic. I'm so glad I came here. Uh, I was thinking there before I've been to Machu Picchu, I've been to Angkor Wat, I've been to Taj Mahal, I've been to the Blue Palace in Jaipur, wherever it is, Jodhpur, somewhere in India. Um, Probably a few others I've never been to, but nothing compares to this place. <laughs>